Alright, so we're gonna start a new game. Mind Over Magic is a game where you build your own school for mages. You don't directly control your mages. However, oh, <laughs> you don't directly control your mages, however. Instead, you place objects for them to build and select tasks that need to be done based on priorities you set. That sounds very familiar. Uh, you will need to experiment, fail, remodel, and try again. Even though there is danger and pressure, the game is designed to let you try and try again, even without restarting. Okay. Uh, I got this, sure. And I think we're, we're just gonna try relax. This is my, literally, I have never opened this game before. I've seen, um, I forgot who it was, someone brainless suggested, I think, uh, streaming this a week or two ago. I couldn't stick around, but I, I saw a little bit of it. Uh, okay, so relaxed. Take your time to explore and experiment. Uh, danger lurks, but well-managed mages can handle, a gr uh, handle it. Great for newer players, or those wanting to experience the game with less pressure. So we have three starting staff. Okay, so we got like three uh, staff members for our school. Fog advances at a relaxed pace. So there is something about like there's a fog that you push out and then comes back and you have to like keep it pushed out. Um, maximum of, of two concurrent events. Start with uh, some completed research. Put stuff here, rustic gourmet and domesticated gut berries. Okay. Sure. So this is Mind Over Magic. All right, so. Once the school stood here. Time, however, uh, ground that fine institution to rubble. I entrust to you the stewardship of a new age of magical learning. Rebuild the school. Train brilliant new mages. Explore the under school. It won't be easy, but I believe you are up to the task. Though my body is long gone, my spirit yet lingers and will serve you faithfully. Camille, founder, Wizards College. Uh, well, we'll just continue for now. I don't know. I mean, it said before that you know we shouldn't need to restart and stuff. We're, we're gonna try this to see how it goes, and maybe we'll, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so this is very similar to uh, how you start an Oni, where you have your three starting dupes, and then you can re-roll things. Um, I don't know that I know enough <laughs> to even know to what to care for, uh, care about. Uh, HP, yeah, so they have different different levels of HP. They have different, uh, so this is a wolfkin. Conviction penalties if they sleep outside or on the floor and prefer to eat dire rat or croa over meals that have conviction penalties. Uh, vivified, face former quilted servants who somehow gain sense, sentience. Huh. Okay, you know conviction penalties are bonuses from eating, and prefer to eat the lowest quality food available. And then a human. Have, what was that? Large reserves of mana and one extra death save. Okay. So death saves prevent mages from dying when suffering a trauma. Earning medallions grants plus one max death save. So this is like three death saves of a max of three, I guess. Um... Yeah. And then they have wands, different kinds of wands that have different spells on them, I guess? What is the three here? Uh, okay, so I see. Fire mage, uh, fire magic can be used in the school to cook, hunt, and destroy obstacles. Fire skill three. Three fire per cast. Teach fire 40% faster. All right, because it's a school, they, they gotta they gotta teach besides just doing stuff. Interesting. Air magic can be used to assemble uh, in the school to assemble, paint, and haul. 
In combat, air attacks quickly and repeatedly scaling well with attack boosts. Okay. Uh, dark magic can be used in the school to quilt and ward. So in other words, to make uh, quilted uh, creatures, apparently. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, in combat, dark magic allows the mage to create cover and to attack from the shadows for huge damage. Okay, interesting. Um, again, I don't even know enough to know if I re-rolled what, what would be better, right? So I might just go with this. Power. Uh, magic heart. Loves charging. Yeah, whatever. Um, no idea. We're just going to go for it. <laughs> All right, so... Here we are. We can pause. So learn about Repel Fog. A destructive, uh, malevolent miasma. The fog surrounds the school, drawing closer each nightfall. The fog will destroy most furnishings in its path. If the fog washes over the school, the school is destroyed and the game ends. Pushing it out further will reveal new resources to use uh, and dangers to avoid. Force the fog to retreat by performing the repel fog ritual at the mana font. I'm pretty sure that's that, right? Uh, if we hover over, <laughs> school's out forever. Yay! Destroy the school. No. Um, okay. Mana font restores mana for mages. Performing repel fog ritual purifies the mana font, forcing the fog to retreat. And I mean, there's a video literally right here showing what's up. Forget to repel, and you'll end up cowering in the underschool. Well, it's interesting. So we're in the underschool right now. If we just, if we let the game run and didn't do anything, would we be safe here, or would it destroy the underschool too? Do we want to find out? <laughs> What happens if we just do nothing? Like the fog is kind of dripping. Oh no, that's going to take forever. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so I click the mana fog. Or the mana fonts, rather. Uh, there's rituals, properties, and tasks. Okay, placeable in rooms on floors. So we can maybe build these as well. Tasks. Okay. Oh, I can't interact with that with this open. Um, waiting. Okay, so ritual, repel fog. Okay, and we pick someone to do it. Purify the mana font, forcing the fog to retreat and revealing land and advanced resources. So, if I move someone else in here, now they're the font steward. What is the significance of the font steward? Oh, here we go. Perform the first repel fog ritual at the mana font, plus five conviction. Um, is there someone that didn't care about conviction? Maybe I'll have the human do it. It seemed like the other two characters had things that made them care less about, or take bonuses, uh, or not. Something about conviction. I don't know. <laughs> New games. All right, and we'll unpause. And I guess this will happen. Zoom in a little bit. All right, and we get a staircase. We get the Camille waiting, scheduled for tasks. Founder's grave. So let's pause again. All right, uh, learning about basic controls. To control the camera, hold right click and drag. Controller camera using Wazda. Um, okay, maybe I can rebind that. Mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down, zoom in and out. That's what I've been doing. Uh, yeah, is the fee. Key information appears over here. Um, hover feed messages for more information. Click them to zoom in. To zoom in world to the relevant spot in the bottom center of the screen. Or time controls, you've already found that. 
Pause the game by clicking pause icon or pressing space. Yep. Control speed. Uh, Q and E is very inconvenient. Maybe I'll rebind that to Q and F. Escape key will bring up the pause menu. Rebind hot maps and settings controls. Okay, cool. Uh, let's work on that then. Settings, controls. Oops, there we go. Uh, and then rotate. Placement rotate. Is that what we were talking about before? No. Uh, time slower faster was the thing that we were looking at. So Q is fine for slower. I want F for faster. Oh, okay. It was not a conflict. Great. Okay, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, we can we can change our play style dynamically, maybe. Uh, learn about collecting resources. Mind over magic is based on indirect control over mages. Mark tasks for mages to accomplish on objects in the world, and they will proceed to tackle those tasks according to their priorities. Uh, select objects in the world by clicking on them. Action buttons appear next to the thing. Um, yep. Once an action button is toggled, mages will take care of that task. They have many tasks to accomplish. Prioritize tasks with easy one through five buttons at the bottom of the selection pane or add mages and vigil. Okay, shift F to, shift two. Um, yep, 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 okay. So, if we click the tree here, we can chop it. Um, manage meals and consumables, interesting. So there are different views. Okay, so like overlays, maybe. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Oh, hey, look. Uh, task priority, gather. Okay, can we just like... Okay, so that puts a little icon on the things. Can we, uh, let's see, left click mark for gather, right click back, control, well control cancel mode. Huh. So gather. So I can't um, shift or like drag. Harvest wing ground. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. And there's G. There we go. Okay. So we'll harvest wind ground. Good. Okay. So that's some things. What if we unpause? I feel like we probably want to harvest trees to build things. Trees and stone. Is there... So there is a build menu. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we can make walls and floors and roofs and stuff. And it needs stone and wood. And wood and stone. Okay. So my, my intuition about that was right. Oh yeah, over there in the other corner here. It's 28 wood. We don't have any stone yet. Okay, so can we... And there 
there's furniture, there's cots, and there's crafting, and there's teaching, and lighting, and storage, and garden. I think this is what the game was saying where it was starting with some initial research for us in our in our relaxed mode. That makes sense. So can we change prior oh I see. Cool. Um task priority, here we go. High priority that stone, please. Oh, and Camille over here, the the spirit. Uh is also doing work for us. Cool, cool, cool. We have a book of rituals down there and a student summoner. So I guess when we're ready to actually have students to teach, we summon them. Surprise. Is that is that a willing summoning? Uh, let's see, inventory meals. Do we start with meals? I think that's the gut berries we harvested, maybe? So do these regrow? It's school is not willing. Well, I mean, what kind of, <laughs> what level of education is it? Is this a magical university? Is this, <laughs> is this uh, a Hogwarts? Is it, you know, are we are we summoning eleven year olds? I don't I don't know. All right, can we can we make a wall? We can make a wall. Form walls and allow space for hallways. Provide support for roofs uh, and floors. Okay, so we can we can put a wall again. Uh, I guess we'll build maybe three higher will be okay. Maybe two high will be okay. Do we need to make a door? I think we need to make a door. Uh, maybe we could go faster. <laughs> All right, we got a door. Is there okay, one and then uh, this doesn't look like there's a hotkey for the individual things here. So let's build another. Oops. No, no, no. Cancel. There we go. All right. Uh, I think we want to build four high here. Okay. Uh, complete. There we go. Hmm. And then. Inexpensive ceilings for rooms. Use the block rain and add luxury. Versus a floor. Forms floors and ceilings. Provide support for walls above it. Okay, so I guess we just build a floor. Complete. So then we don't have support for the middle parts? Yeah, unsupported. Okay, so we can probably just build another wall. Here and then let's build another door. Now is this good? Is this right? I don't know. No idea. Um, so it does look like the. Like, I'm pretty sure these are the trees that we chopped before. So it looks like they do regrow, and it's like a renewable resource. Learn about construction. I guess I already <laughs> figured it out. Uh, wall and roof pieces. Uh, materials available. Separately ordered mages collect resources of prerequisite. Ooh, look at that roof. That's cool. Okay. 
A bachelor's school is never complete. It must shift endlessly, changing to meet the needs of the current students. Okay. Cool. So the fog is still out here. I guess at some point it starts coming back in and we have to push it back out. That feels like a daily thing. Hmm. Five days. Maybe not that. Pause. <laughs> what does this say? Fog, a deadly miasma from the depths of the dungeon. Each night, the fog advances to consume the school. Performing a ritual to clear the man, uh, to clear the mana fines will force the fog to retreat. Five days until destruction. Perform repel fog ritual at the mana font. Huh. Okay. So, can we just do that? Oh, I see. It's based on the number of people we assign. We get a certain amount of repel. Can we see here, or do we need to, like... Okay, so if we bring you over, so that's plus 10, and then another plus 10. Does it make sense? A ritual time one hour. So we're dedicating three hours worth of work. Let's let's not do that now. I think we're, we're okay. Can I... Yeah, I can cancel. There we go. Uh, can we make a um, a bed or something? Furniture? Cot? Uh, the spirit doesn't need a bed. I, I guess um, Archibald doesn't necessarily need a bed either. But seems like a reasonable thing to do. What is a gruel pot? A station used to cook meals. Uh-huh... Hey, Ninja Juice. <laughs> Figuring out a new game over here. Uh, which I have I have limited <laughs> knowledge of. I guess we should have torches. That seems like a good thing, right? For light. Um, build storage. I need a smoke stick. Yeah. All right. And then what else? Crafting roll pot. That could be a good thing. Let's, let's let folks do their thing. So we have we got 124 wood. That might be a good amount. I don't know. 32 stone, some animal parts, some plant parts, some seeds, some meals. All right, so we have a gruel pot. So add a meal order. Uh, so we can make, uh, oh, I see. So people lose conviction when eating this. That's interesting. A barely edible berry soup, still nasty, but better than eating them raw. Okay, so hold on. Does that mean, are there still some berries on the ground somewhere? Where did our berries go? I thought we had some. Can we look at this? Can we click? Okay, gut berry. Um, see more shift. No. Okay. Well, I don't know that. But I'm guessing that cooking it is better than not cooking it. <laughs> That's generally how it goes, right? Um, do we have carcasses? Animal parts? Sinew, no viscera. Okay, so let's make gut berry soup. How many times? I don't know. Five times? Does the food, like, I I know so little. Let's see what that does. So, um, we have three beds so far, almost, once this one is done. Uh, is it going to be done before night? I don't know. Fog advancing. Okay. Learn about school expansion. Uh, once the foundation is full, there's still many options for expansion. The easiest way to, is to expand is to continue up. 
using stairs and additional walls and floors you can add more stories onto your school you can even place new construction on top of the old without removing what you've already built your mages will deconstruct anything in the way deconstructing also refunds all resources cool uh to gain even more flexibility in construction you can research arch supports column supports and buildable foundation okay so it sounds like we can potentially in the future expand the foundation of the school but in the meantime build up <laughs> Uh, we got rooms and stairs, and uh, maybe I'll look at that later. So we have cots for th our three corporeal uh, staff members, and we're cooking some food. Uh, where do we go from here? I guess let's, um, now that we have those basic things, let's work on Repel Fog. Let's go ahead and just do Repel Fog. Cannot begin. Why? Oh, he's coming down there. There we go. He's performing the ritual. Does it re require anything? I don't know. It looks like he's bringing things down, but I'm not sure what. Jewels. Oh. So it does use gut berry and wood. So it's not just a matter of it being a time sink, it's also you have to put in resources. But yeah, here you can see the fog on either side. So presumably in the hour, once the ritual is done, the fog will go back more. Okay. So like there's some more things out here that we could get. Uh, there we go. And we can see four days until destruction. Huh. Okay. So I think that means it's four days before the fog advances all the way back to the start and wipes everything out. I also get the impression that maybe we can't build anything down here. No, we can. Interesting. So presumably, if we let the fog go all the way back here, it not only like destroys everything we built up here, but it just like it wipes out the the bottom too. Ah. <laughs> so Camille over here, um, we could rename also. Does the vivified staff? Hmm. Do they need to sleep? Do they need a cot? How would I be able to tell that? Tasks. Magic. Huh. Maybe just in case. Can I uh, build a copy? Yes. Cool. Let's have another one there. So let's see, Camille should come in. Uh, is this work going to disrupt the sleep? Seemingly no. I wonder if the differences in percentages here is just the how long it took for them to go get in their cot. Now as Camille uh, is not going to sleep apparently. Maybe it's not necessary then. I mean you wouldn't think so, it said it uh, the it was the founder's spirit or whatever, so uh, maybe not necessary. Right, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait until everyone wakes up, see all this working the next day. Yeah, so they're all going out. Auto save completed. No wand shape built. Okay, craft wands for magical components used in rituals. Add the student summoner to summon new students to the school. Okay, so let's check this out. Build a wand shaper to craft wands. So build uh, a wand shaper. We need two sinew. So sinew, I'm guessing, are from animals? Yeah, hunt, we get sinew. Okay, cool. Hunt, hunt. Um, let's go ahead and cancel the mining right now. We have a lot, a good amount of resources for expanding, maybe. I don't know. Uh, 
All right, so they're eating. That's cool. That's cool. There we go. I want to get some hunting going on. Okay, so can we build the one shaper? We can. I guess we can just build it in the corner over here. There we go. Learn about rooms. What's this going on? Also, is the game... It looks like we're, when we're in the tutorial stuff, the game is paused. Uh, room. Rooms are the f most fundamental building blocks of the school. Enclosing a space using a combination of walls, floors, and roofs will automatically create a room. Roofs are cheap, quick to assemble, prevent rain. Floors are a bit more expensive, but let your mages traverse them. Um, so, theoretically, instead of building the second floor, which is also like a, a ceiling and a, 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 you know, it is essentially a roof, but it was, it would be one that we could expand onto and just immediately make into another floor of the building. We could have just used the roof. Uh, you can always deconstruct blocks in order to recoup the full resource cost. Don't be afraid to build a roof for now and tear it down later. Well, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> In addition to providing shelter, rooms can also allow new rituals and tasks to perform at furnishings in the room, as well as uh, improve learning. Uh, the type of room is created based on the size, location, content, and shape of the enclosed area. Uh, okay. Up in the room view. Uh, it's, it's kind of only like. <laughs> uh, open the room view to browse all currently available types of rooms. Okay, so there should be a room type. So we have a school room with four luxury. Um, and it's telling us why it can't be other things. And we have a scullery uh, for cooking. And then these aren't rooms. And there are other kinds of rooms. School room, ritual rooms, assembly hall, auditorium, great hall. So imagine we'll have an infirmary and a hospital ward and an auditorium and assembly hall and workshops and kitchens. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. House commons, common room, uh, conservatory, uh, dining room, mess hall, private dining room, uh -huh, uh -huh, bedrooms of various kinds, bed chambers, plus, plus 25 conviction to staff sleepers. Okay. So, that's all well and good. Let's check out the uh, wand shape really quick. Add a wand order. Okay. Do we... Do we want to summon a student? Uh, bu -bu -bu. Do we use in rituals at the school student summoner to summon new students? Okay, so if we look at the student summoner, there's a ritual. Summon student. Uh, need staff. One wand of any type. 15 minutes. So let's make a wand. Um, and bu, 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 let's make any old wand will do. All right, so we got uh, Alexandra, who is a vivified student with a fire wand that we made. Uh, do we see anything about this person? No, not really. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to figure out, there we go. I'm gonna save here and uh, save completed, great. So we're gonna, we're gonna pause here and next Friday, we're gonna jump back into this and learn even more about playing this game. Uh, but that's gonna be it for today's stream. 